Yes. Oh. Beautiful, man. Oh. How are you doing? Oh, what man. I'm sorry. What the hell? I'm sorry it was so stressful. Oh, man. I don't know what happened, Chasey. I mean, I, I thought this was going to be a breeze, and uh, then it wasn't connecting. And you should have seen, I must have texted you on your live, like, 15, 20 times. I'm, I'm, oh, no. I, I'm still typing. I'm, I'm typing. I'm here. I'm here. Help. Help. Can oh, no. Oh, me? Greg. I'm and so sorry, time, dude. No, it's, it's not your fault. It's like we, I have no idea how this happened. And, and, and I'm, 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 uh, I'm trying to uh, join your uh, – I'm trying to send requests. And every time I send a request, guess what happened? It said request wasn't sent. Request denied. Oh, no. That's not yeah. true. Yeah. So I'm going, I don't believe this is happening right now. And you're, you're just <laughs> – Tread water so beautifully, man, and you're <laughs> eight thousand questions, you know, and you're going through different stuff, and you're doing all the things that I wanted to do. No, no, yeah, no. If there's if there's one skill I've had to learn in 2020, well, one of many, it's been how to tread water in Instagram Live while technical Ooh. difficulties are occurring. Man, it's, well, it's whole, the whole scene. You got that down, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank okay. you. It's so much fun. It's so much fun that we're on this, and I'm so stoked. Yeah, me too. Thank you, man, for uh, <clears throat> thank you for your patience. And, <clears throat> you know, there's so many things I want to say. First of all, I'm not really doing this for my followers or your followers. I'm doing this for me. <laughs> I, I am because you have turned me into a raving fan, Jacob. I mean, I, you know, oh, no. I really seriously, man, I, I don't understand what planet you come from. I really don't. And, you know, you how old are you now? Oh, uh, 12 and a half. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm just messing. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 26. 26. Thanks. I have socks older than you, but I got it. <laughs> you, you have just turned uh, the music world upside down with your, with your brilliance. And I, I, am, I have been just amazed at, at your progression, you know. Oh, man. Seriously, have Jacob, and I, and I can't tell you <clears throat> how <clears throat> proud I am of you, and and how uh, just you know your musicality is stunning. I have to tell oh, you, it really is, man. I, that that means a, a planet, a planet and a half coming coming from you, sir. And yeah, the 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 people that you've hung out with, and that you've known, and that you've worked with, and you've played with, and your energy is so infectious, and all of that stuff stands so surely in, in my musical universe and the music universe of Jacob throughout his entire teenage years so fundamentally that hearing that come from your mouth is, is a thrill and, and a, a true honor and thank you so much. Well, it's my pleasure. I mean every word of it, man. And, and the, 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 the deal is that, you know, in every generation, you know, uh, music and new ideas are passed down. <clears throat> uh, it was passed down to me. Uh, you know, when I was the new kid on the block, starting out with Stevie, and mm -hmm. uh, and you know, several generations later, we come to you, this uh, this bouncing twelve and a half year old, um, <laughs> with just uh, just a joy of music. And uh, I, there's there's specific things I want to cover. We we won't get to to go through everything. And I you I don't know how you're not exhausted from talking about uh this project because uh <laughs> the followers and the interviews and um everything else it, it's 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 a pretty uh, wild ride so far. But let me first congratulate you on being a Grammy nominated artist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. What? Oh, beautiful. And I don't mean just some little, uh, you know, a little lame uh, category. I mean, album of the year. I, it's it's pretty on. bananas, man. It's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty outrageous. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know what this says to me? This speaks volumes uh, on the, the integrity of the voting with the Recording Academy. Because in, in a sea of you know, uh, nominees that would be, uh, you know, presumed. Here you come out <laughs> blue, and it says to me that, oh, there's still room for quality music because this is maintaining the, 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 the bar, you know, that has been set by the Grammys and the Recording Academy years ago. Oh, and man. I, thanks for saying that. 
Yeah, absolutely. You're just another fine example of that. And that's why I couldn't be more proud of you. you know? Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's really nice. I, I, yeah, one thing I love about the Grammys above, you know, the other music awards and stuff is that it's voted on by musicians and people yeah. who like, make the music and produce the music and tour around the world. Like those are the guys that, 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 that get to define it in a way that just isn't the case with, say, like the AMAs or other kinds of awards. So right. that's so, it, it's so fundamentally kind of, it's like my, my, my home crowd a bit, you know, and like, exactly. I've always loved music in such a deep way. And I know you feel the same. And that there's like a family of people who, who talk that language that, that kind of gets to come together and, 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 and decide like what's important. And it's, just, it's, it's a ridiculous honor, but, and I, and I never, ever, ever saw it coming, but it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a real thrill to, to kind of sit on that on that shelf and be like, okay, I did an album on my own and it's recognized and something and something, but it's, it's crazy. It really is. And, and uh, huge congratulations again, but this, uh -huh. you know, this speaks to your artistry too. I mean, if I had to describe you in one word, it would be fearless. Mm. Just, it would also be crazy, but it would also be uh, fearless uh, because you're totally unafraid to cross genres and uh you know many times in the same song <laughs> <laughs> sometimes i do that and and there's a strong celebratory sense you know mm. to, i mean i can actually feel the joy you have for for just creating music i feel it in every song you know oh beautiful i i, I feel i feel it too I, I feel it too i i feel like all i can do is just to go <laughs> and something will come out and yeah and that, that always that always feels real real good absolutely man and um actually I want to I want to dive a bit into try to try to to uh, analyze how you think musically. Okay, which, which could be extremely dangerous, but I, I <laughs> certain questions along those lines. Uh, but I think uh, I will start with the most obvious question: What or who is a Jesse? <laughs> what is uh, it? What's the significance of sorts? What is so, it? What so is, significance of the d you know dj -E what is the, the significance of that spelling so so here's the thing all, all of my friends or a lot of my friends call me jc right and they kind of always have done it's just it's just like a nickname that's stuck it's like hey jc yeah. blah, blah blah jc this jc that and i like I, I like it it's like it's like yeah so i've kind of adopted that and so when i was thinking about this record there were a few things came to mind one was that it's it's a bit of a kind of homage to all the things I love, all the genres, all the musicians, all the art, all the, the flavors and chords and rhythms and all that stuff. I wanted to pack it all into one great big package. And so it felt like a bit of a, a sort of self journey. So I thought something along the lines of, of something that's me makes sense. So it's kind of JC. But Jesse, is, it's just a name I've always loved. And, and actually I once saw, I, I once saw it spelled with, with D in front of it in my mid teens, there was a song called, called Jesse. Mm -hmm. And it was like very, very unknown. It was like, I think it was like something from, kind of mid, like mid middle Africa and, and it, it somehow ended up on YouTube and someone was going just do it better and it was wonderful and I just thought like that's such a cool thing and so yeah so I, I came to it thinking what would be fun is to have a have a kind of character that does the journey like does the that does the experiments like there's sort of an unlimited child that just can play forever and, and and the point of the play is the play it's not about anything else it's not about what the play accomplishes or you know anything it's like it's like just the spirit of, of being uncontained and, and unlimited and so i almost birthed this character jesse which is in part me and in part not me or an, an extension of me sort of wanting to ask the question so like what what is that what what who am i what is it what is this all about and and so that's kind of what i did and that's the spirit in which i i kind of created the, the album and i'm still creating the, 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 the album which it started as one album and then it became a double album and then it became a triple album. And then in the end, it was like, actually, it has to be four. So it's a quadruple album. This is what happens when you have a lot of time on your hands. <laughs> with no yeah. Zero yeah. distractions. You have zero distractions. Oh, so I'm, I'm, very, I'm very easily distracted. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I tend to find, uh, I'm most easily distracted by, by, by an idea. And like, I'm sure yeah. you're the same way, Greg. But like, when you get an idea in your mind, it's like, uh, oh, what? what yeah. Then I'm, I'm yeah. like, you cannot take me away from the idea, you know. You, I won't eat, I won't sleep, I'll just be in it. Well, you know, since I'm so many uh, centuries older than you, I'm, I'm a lot slower, and so the ideas don't come as often as they used to. <laughs> so I have, I have, I have other uh, issues and, and lovely things to deal with, like twin boys. Uh, 
that's heavy. <laughs> and they're five. So that is even that's even what, heavier. What could possibly oh, go wrong with that? What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But, but, but uh, yeah, I, I I get the uh, the Jesse reference, and it is a very cool uh, spelling. You know. That thank you spelling. very much. Thank you. Thank you. So it stands out. You know, it, it gives the air of mystery, and and it, and it can right help. right ways like. Well, what's it, Jesse? I don't know. I just yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's that. That's fantastic to hear you say. Yeah, that. yeah. Well done. So I look, man. I, uh, there's so many things. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, one thing I noticed from uh, some of your, uh, well, many of your followers uh, when I was desperately trying to log on is that they they have serious uh, technical questions too. They want to know, like I do, um, <clears throat> you know, what's the process? And the fact is. Uh, especially with uh, Volume Three, man, it is sonically so good. Oh, thanks, man. You want to know how good it sounds? It sounds good on my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, it, that's it a almost, challenge. Seriously, I was playing it. I was playing through it last night because I was desperately trying to, uh, uh, you know, bone up on some things that we'll talk about later. Uh, uh, but in playing it, it almost sounded like it was stereo on the iPhone, dude. I mean, I can uh. hear the separation and I can hear the ring and I can hear how well it was mixed through an iPhone. And that's really re remarkable. Who, who mixed it? Well, I did. Um, and, and you know, what's, you know, what's funny is that like we, I, I specifically wanted it to sound good on an iPhone. So I, I would Dropbox myself mixes and play them out of my phone to see how they sounded. Hmm. And that was, that's something I've, I've, I'd never done before. Cause you think, Oh, I'll make it sound great on my, nice bassy speakers you know and, right. but actually the, the the crazy truth of 21st century is that m the majority of people are going to check it out on their phones yeah. and so it has to sound good in mono it has to, has to sound good with no low end but it, there's, a, there's a funny thing that your ear does with, with the phone which is you know obviously like below like ooh, you can't hear any frequencies it's just like so so what's interesting is how your mind puts the sound together for you like you hear <laughs> and it comes out of a phone but you hear a sub thing because your your mind's kind of con kind of con con constructing it i guess but f for me the challenge was you got 600 tracks in a logic session how do you get them to sound good to come out of one mono speaker and actually it, it's doable you just have to have like a lot of patience and a lot of like high resolution um gestures you know like you can't just put them all at zero db and think oh i'm done i'm gonna go yeah, no, no. No, no. or like i'm gonna go upstairs to bed if, in, in my case but, you know, you, you just have to make sure that there's, there's light and shade throughout, I think, you know. And so you can't have everything in the foreground. You have to have some things in the background. And yeah. these are simple enough ideas. But with mixing, you can take that to pristine levels, you know, where it's like this, this particular note in the chord that I'm singing, most track chord I'm singing, like I'm singing, like, say I'm singing like an, like an F. I'm singing like an F minor 11 chord, right? Mm. Oh, no, I've lost, lost my keyboard. Let me see if I get it back. There you go. So like, so like the B flat's less important than the A flat, slightly. Mm -hmm. Because it's right. not, it's, it's a flavor. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's a flavor within. So, so when I sing that chord, well, first of all, it depends where that chord comes from, where the chord's going. But when I'm mixing that chord, when I'm, when I'm painting it in, it's like I'm painting it with my voice. Then I know that that B flat might be a note that I'm pivoting. I might be pivoting from that B flat to a different color, you know, or whatever. And so I might want to start soft and then lean in and as I lean in, the chord pivots and changes, but the B flat is what guides your ear across the border yeah. right. between, between the two chords. So dynamics are just crazily important. You can't just kind of, you know what happens when you, when you arrange something on Sibelius, right? Or, or in, a, in a notation software and it's like, bah, 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 you know, it comes out like every note at the same volume. And it's like, ah, oh, so unmusical. So, so obviously that approach to arranging, I used to arrange all my songs like that. I used to go through and write them out on paper. But what I realized is when I'm painting in the mixing process, it's just, it's so crucially important that the gravity of each chord is carried across in a sound way. And that just takes patience and, and wanting to understand what each of the notes are doing to the chord. And then when it comes out the iPhone speaker, it's that nothing's competing because the priorities have been considered about like, well, this is what's here and this is what guides you here. And then actually this is gonna be overtaken by this. And then that moves out of the way when that's surpassed by this. And then this is a moment of fullness. And moment. So all of those kinds of spatial questions, I, I, I ask myself in a conscious way when I'm mixing and then yeah, I play it through my phone, I play it through my car. I, you know, I, 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 I send it to my, my friend Michael has a, like a nice car with like big subs in it, which I don't have at all. Mm -hmm. And so I, I would say like, hey, Michael, can you, can you play this through your car and see if it rattles? 
I know that if it rattles, it's, it's too much, <laughs> too much bass because my speakers, I've got these crazy keys, key threes. Oh, wow. And I don't, know, I don't know if you've heard them, but my God, man, it's, <laughs> it's just spectacular. Mm. And it makes everything sound really good, <laughs> which is really dangerous. Because if I'm mixing, it's like, yeah, oh, great. Oh, and I turn it really loud and you're just jamming. Right. But, right. but but the honest truth of the matter is that like it, it needs to sound good on on like NS10s and it needs to sound good on car stereos and phones and so yeah it's, it's, it was important for me to do that but with volume three specifically I thought how can I cater to, to every kind of listener and every kind of device that any kind of listener might be using at any one time. Fascinating and he, uh, speaking of patience, bro, the, and, and you've been doing this over several years, but your layering of vocals is absolutely insane, Jay-Z. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> Thank and you, man. So how, how average, how many do you stack on, an in, on a single note? Oh, heck. Well, it depends on the note. If it's a, if it's a bass note, then I'll, I'll often do four plus, and I'll mm -hmm. pan them differently. So you have, you have like, you know, say, say, I'm, say I'm doing, say I've got a chord of F like this. What keeps happening to my AP? It should be here now. Okay, so I've got that. The, the, it's gone. Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Okay, forget it. So the F is the root. And so what I'll do is, is I'll probably go, ooh, oh, well, I'll, that's, that's the fifth. So, so I'll, I'll, do a fi I'll do a fifth and a root together. Mm. So, ooh, and then, mm, and then, ooh, which is slightly, it's like leaning on the F because it's a fifth and fifths lean on roots in theory, generally. And then, I might do F, 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 F in the stereo. So like hard pan, hard pan, and then quite close. And okay. then the fifth, I'll put like between those. Okay. So I might pan it like, say I pan it like 10, 10, 63, 64. And then I might pan it like 40, 40 for the fifth. So that is a, that's a soil. That's like a proper foundation. Okay. And I'll see what then, then when I'm moving up into the upper echelons of the chord, like I tend to double each note. Sometimes I'll triple each note. And if it's a beautiful, gorgeous, like important warm note that like has a lot of energy and needs to have gravity, then pull, pull your ear towards it. Then I might do four, five, six. But it's, mm. it's very, very, um, it's very uncalculated. It's very intuitive. So I'll just be there kind of, often my mind will be on some, something else. Like I'll be thinking about food or <laughs> thinking about a girl or something. And then and I'll be mixing and it'll be like, and my, my, my hands just go, it's, it's a funny thing. And I, and I know that you know this because you're killing, but there's a certain point when you when you're playing where you don't have to think oh if, if, am i doing the right fingering here or am i am i is this the right voicing or am i in the right you know it, you, you go and and it's almost like when you you know when, when you master a language of sorts and i don't i no longer have to think about word order when i speak english you know because i learned it when i was young and and so with, with chords and stuff like that and with vocal production i've got this mic on a boom arm like a radio boom arm and i sit here literally in this exact chair with this mic and i just go and my mind's going what you know like what, what would happen if you you know something random or or like when was the last time this or like a memory will surface and i'll be processing it but it's just like a different parallel thing because i completely zone out but i'm so i'm so connected that i'm almost not thinking and so there aren't that many things in music that i feel i can get to that level with but i would say that just like harmonic harmonic painting is is one of them like i can happily sit here and just let my mind go to the desert or the rainforest or whatever and i and i i'll kind of feel out what I, what needs supporting and obviously the more times i do it the more arrangements i do the, the higher the resolution is of my understanding and so it's like it starts off being like do i need a b flat or not and it's like yes i do and then the next level of that is do i need to be flat loud or quiet and it's like well loud do i need to be flat half loud or very loud it's like th th that's what I'm be that's what i mean by resolution it's like you get to the point where it's like B flat 3.2 dB or B flat 3.3 dB loud, and it's like, and and you know it because you you've zoned into that degree of detail, and it's not superhuman. It's just patience. No, this is exactly why you're from another planet. This is exactly what I'm talking about, because <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> but it's fantastic. So, uh, okay. Uh, I want to address something right now while it's on my mind, uh, even before we get to some of the songs. You obviously have perfect pitch. And so do I, but I have realized that when you get older, it, it's, it's actually a muscle. It's like a muscle and it can sag. Yeah, yeah. So I have to keep mine up. Uh, let's see. So that would be a C, right? Mm -hmm. 
All right. So I got I got lucky on that one. Here's the thing. The thing is, you are messing with my you're messing with my uh, perfect pitch. And the reason why you're messing with my perfect pitch is because now you've discovered, as if everything else isn't insane enough, you discovered half sharps. Hmm. I can't live like this. <laughs> you're messing with my yeah. perfect pitch. Half yeah. sharp, really? I still can't find them. Look, I got the same. <laughs> I can't find. They're not here. Where are they? Here, yeah. JC, I don't. Where is it? <laughs> I don't see it. It's not visible. Yes, yeah, my, I can't you, work like this. You know, you know what's so funny when you say that is that my mom has this, has the same like she she gets pissed off because yes. I because so 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 my mom has perfect pitch and when I was growing up she would be like, hey Jacob, you know what what note does the vacuum cleaner feel like? What note does that car horn feel like? And we were talking that language. Yeah. And then I got to age eighteen, nineteen, and I started being like, doo, 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 and she and she got pissed. She she was like, you can't do this. My compass is starting to get, my compass is starting to get haywire, you know. I'm telling and you, man. It's, I love it. I love it. I love it. And, and what I realized, it, it kind of came out, the half shot thing, well, okay, there's a couple of things. My, my explorations of this, of this terrain, or, uh, yeah, I, I call, I call tuning, I call the, like, anchor points in tuning, I call them terrain. So, so a cross terrain modulation, in my mind, is when you, you exit A four forty. It's like going into a parallel universe. Hang on, just say cross terrain modulation. Cross terrain modulation. So if I go from D to G half sharp, I'm I'm moving I'm moving across because there's there's a, there's a gap. There's a right. semitone and there's well how you say half step half step C to yeah. C sharp, and yeah. there's a gap. And to me, this is a terrain, and you can cross it. And it's not just half. You can put this marker anywhere you like. Oh, and the yeah. truth of the matter is, in the fifteen hundreds, someone decided that it was twelve. Someone said twelve. 12 notes in an octave and yeah, then everyone was like okay yes i absolutely but the reality is man like n why 12 this could be whatever you want you can do whatever you want and if you if you look at physics if, if you or listen if you listen to physics every note contains a series of harmonics right right so if i if you go you hear because because and that's just that's physical right and you touch a string in the middle you get an octave higher and then you get like a, a fifth, then then your octave, and then a third, and so the intervals that these harmonics are placed are smaller and smaller distances away from each other, right? But this is not in tune with the piano at all. It's a different set of tunings, and this is known as just intonation. And so, for example, the fifth harmonic is a major third. If I go, if I go, you just like a like an E there. So that is actually fourteen hundredths of a sem of a half step flatter than the piano says it is. Because the piano is a compromise. The piano is like someone decided piano, like, yeah. But, but I mean, essentially, what happened is that people prioritized fifths and fourths. They said, let's yeah. have our fifths sound really in tune, right? And then our fourths in tune. But let's let's just who cares about thirds? Like thirds can rot, you know. And and so it's just such a shame because the real third in that chord is. Mm. It's out of tune with the piano. That is so sharp in, to physics. That's the harmonically just tuned third. So, you know, blah, 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 geeky, geeky okay, information. Because, maybe I should be okay because my piano's out of tune at the moment. So maybe I should be all right. Perfect. You're, you're, you're home and dry. But, but, but basically, I mean, all I, all I felt with this stuff was like, geez, Louise, so, so why, why, am I, why am I tuning my acapella instruments to the piano when like there's this other like royal tuning royalty that exists in the world? And I thought, well, yeah, why can't I sing? Why can't I sing, like, um, like rocking around the Christmas tree, right? That's the end, right? Why can't my alto line go? Why can't I do that? Why, why does it have to go? You can do whatever you want. You can do, and all you have to do is, is <laughs> all you have to do is divide the space out. And I, that freaked me out, man. I, that made me so happy. Oh well, let me tell you what freaked me out when I when I heard you do "Happy Birthday." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you with this? I just saw this post the other night. So why? Why? <laughs> what the heck? I mean, it was. It, it was really incredible. It was fascinating. It was fascinating to see. There's like 800 mini 
uh, post of you going, hey! <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you start that? How did you uh, And how did you finish it? And what about the middle? I, it's, it's fascinating <laughs> to me. It really is. Oh um, man, thank thank you for thank you for your enthusiasm. I, yeah, not not everyone gets excited about this stuff, but I really do. And I just to me, like you know, you're a bad man. If, if you, I mean, I, if, you I, you know, you you analyze music in in ways I didn't even know existed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, was, I, I love I love digging I into it. How to play? That's why I was always just trying to learn how to play when I was a kid and when I was younger. But you 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 you've taken a scientific approach to it, and it's really it's it's helpful. It's it's it's. It expands the understanding of, of, of uh, you know, uh, key things uh, in general. And it's really amazing. It's, it's interesting. And to me, I think one thing I feel strongly about is that it doesn't mean shit until you make good music with it. Like you can well, say that, like ratios, harmonics, everything. Crazy voice things, like, doesn't matter. Right. Like if, 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 if it can be part of your intuitive palette and yeah. you, can, you can use something like microtones to mean something yeah. rather than just to represent what it is then you're then we're talking and then it gets really juicy and that's just to me that's so exciting and it's it's like like in my mind i like i grew up harmonizing with a pentatonic scale right and like that made sense to me like you know you got, you got like you know that thing that was that made sense it's like so if someone went like if, if it was then i would intuitively go and because my, my resolution was pentatonic. And so, and that was cool. And so in my mind, like chromatic harmony is as novel as a pentatonic minded person, to a pentatonic minded person as microtonal harmony is to a equally tempered minded person. It's just the next step. Like it's not, it's not out of reach. It's not like an alien language, but it is super cool. And you can control it in like fascinating dark ways that, you know, that, so I wrote the song called All I Need and for, uh, for the final yeah. chorus for the final chorus of this tune i i knocked it i knocked it up a, basically a, a, a quarter tone so yes, you know, know it's like yeah so it's and then the first time it goes but then the second time it goes that's when i went no <laughs> yeah right it is bleeding type thing but uh yeah i apologize oh, well it's too late now but here's too late the, now, isn't it? the thing is this the thing is, and and this brings me to my next point i i discovered uh looking at your latest posts that you have a sheet music book of your songs true how in the hell does that work <laughs> yeah I, um but usually, usually, uh, uh, sheet music is lame and 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 uh, 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 vastly inaccurate. Yeah, I completely agree. So, well, it was it was it was a challenge. Yeah, it was it was a challenge. I I mean, so microtones are out of the question with the piano. Uh, and it was I mean, it's not just like all I need with the microtone modulation or cross train modulation. It's it's also like some songs I just don't have an a a does not equal four forty, you know. Like I wrote a song, for example, called uh, called Hideaway, and at the beginning of the song, D, it went D major, but it's not D major. It's it's like it's, it's about thirty cents flat, so it's about a third of a semitone flat. And throughout the song, it lifts, and by the end, we're in tune. And, and so you get this subliminal sense of like, yeah, you know, but obviously the book, yeah, it's just a lift, it's just a feeling. It's like, oh, because, you know, everyone gets a feeling when the key changes. It's like, it feels amazing. But that is just, it's just like a, a high resolution key change when it's just like, hmm, hmm, ooh, oh, you know what I mean? And so obviously with the sheet music book, 440 is, is, is ultimatum. And that's fine. Like 440 is cool and equal temperament's cool and stuff. Uh, and, and actually, I, I'm, I'm quite proud of the book because we did, I, I worked with a friend of mine called June Lee, who's, who is a transcriber and notation extraordinaire. And, and he, he'd been transcribing a bunch of my vocal arrangements on, on YouTube and blown my mind because he, he heard all the chords and he heard all the microtones and it was just like, who's this, who's this guy? Like his ears are just obscene. Well, and so we kind of became friends. And, and, then, and so we sat down and we said, why don't we make a book of these songs? And obviously you have to cut a lot of corners when you're dealing with, with like low resolution 
interfaces like pianos, but it's also quite joyous. Well, uh, that's encouraging because I want to make sure this guy got all the nuances because for years I've relied on my ears, you know, and, and I've relied, and I'm, I'm a, a great stickler for uh, detail and nuances, you know, mm -hmm. and studying, you know, because, you know, a couple, a couple of days ago uh, or in the past that we FaceTime and I've started out on conversations. With you. You know, but, but now I, I really listen to it. So I want to make sure this is the right pattern for all our friends. Let's have it. Check it out. So it should be this. It should be. Exactly. You nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Really? So, uh. Yeah. Completely and utterly correct. Yeah. Yeah. This part will be a, uh, 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 right? That's it. Yeah. D over F sharp, C minor 11, F major 7 over A. Yeah. Like C, C, C minor eleven, like, and then, and, the, and you're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. you got it, dude. You got it. A, a, a half diminished, and then down A flat minor seven. Yeah, that's it. So A, a half diminished, like C minor over A, and then. Oh, I've lost my thing. It keeps happening. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the piano. Okay. So yeah, see, you you got. Right. So yeah, so like C minor eleven with F on the top. Oh. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. That's exactly. Okay. So. That's right, that's right, sorry, so, uh, uh. Exactly, man, exactly, yeah. And then, and then the last time, it goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, everyone, everyone, everyone loves to go see Suffs moment. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that okay. But now, 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 now. Okay, I got a lot of uh, other little questions. I'll try to get uh, a few of them out before we go to the beast. Uh, uh, and we all know what the beast is. Uh, okay, so, so. So, 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 count the people. I won't even, mm -hmm. uh, clarity, I won't even deal with that because that's just, <laughs> you know, that's just you in the middle of the night uh, having a seizure apparently. And that's what exactly, I, that's exactly, that's exactly what it was. Yeah. Uh, so, so count, count the rapper, count the rapper, I'll be all right. Count the people. <laughs> count the who, people. Who is that insane rapper on count the people? <laughs> well, sir. That would be me. Um, I always no. wanted to give it a shot. Yeah, I, that's me. Yeah, I always wanted to give it a shot, and and so I figured I would just I would try. Come live, come live, keep it up, nice, keep it nice. I had to. You know what's funny is like when I was recording that, it was at night, and my tongue got. It's like I got like tongue fatigue because <laughs> it's like everything is everything is alright. Start right, we're not never gonna get it. But it's gonna get it. You know, it's not that gonna get really good. And my tongue would go. Oh, 
you know, I don't know how I don't know how Eminem does it. Honestly, it's, it's a mystery. Or Buster, Buster that, Rhymes. That was that's what I was gonna say. You obviously been listening to Give Me Some Up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, There you go, there you go, there you go. So that was you? That was me. That was me. And I wrote a, I wrote this funky poem and and I, and I and I wrapped I wrapped my heart up. You sure did, man. I didn't even Okay. Youth, 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 youth. <laughs> Thanks, man. The fact that you, that you can go that fast is <laughs> You know what you know what? Like the, the real test will be will be live. Like I want I wanna do it live. I wanna get I wanna get like one of those, you know, I wanna be like the guy, like you know, yeah. you know what I mean? I want to be like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, right, right. <laughs> because, like, yeah, that that would be that would be like the 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 the, the most fun of all. Dude, uh, I can't wait. Hey, you really crushed it. Thanks, brother. That's 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 insane. That's insane. Okay, <laughs> well, uh, and and that's another thing. Um, so in addition to being able to uh, rap as fast as Buster Rhymes, uh, you you how many instruments do you play? Everything in the room. Okay, I get it. All right. I mean, I, the the thing about that question is, I don't really, I don't. The reason I don't count them is because, come on, I've got no. Uh, is 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 because, uh, it's because I I don't see them as different from one another. You know, like I could say, like I played this twelve string guitar and the guitar. It's like okay, then I played the guitar. Or like I play things that that are in the guitar family. You know, so I would say like I play keyboards, um, and I play drums and I play bass instruments and I play guitar instruments and I sing. And then I do a bunch of weird other stuff that I just like the hop edgy. Like, do you, have you have you messed with the hop edgy yet? Uh, no. I, I feel like you and the hop edgy are like I, you you and the hop edgy like are match. In my mind, is like a, they're like a match made in heaven. I know obviously Stevie plays one. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's uh, who introduced me to it, obviously. And uh, yeah, was my man Corey Henry, his master. Corey, yeah, he's a beast on the hop edgy. And and Justin. The thirteen-year-old. Uh, th that's another alien, Justin uh, Lee Schultz. He's he's on it now. He's uh, he's on it now. Oh, jeez, that's insane, man. You know, I mean, I, I hear these kids, and I just want to go sell shoes. I really, it's just, <laughs> it, it's like what, what's left. But uh, no, it's it's uh, it's a fascinating instrument, and uh, you know, you've been killing that too lately. Thanks, brother. I, yeah, it's to me, it's like it's so rare that I get a completely new system. That I've never seen, you know. Yeah. So obviously the harpeggio is tuned in in whole whole tones or tones. Yeah. And 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 you need to navigate. So like a triad is like this, and like a mm -hmm. triad is that on no other instrument. It's not a triad on like that on the guitar or the piano mm -hmm. or the accordion or anything. It's just like this new thing. So I I loved I've loved like expressing harmony through it because certain things are really easy to do. Like you can hop you can kind of hop over strings and do modulations in ways that are easier than on the piano, for example. Um, but yeah, I, I'm always I'm always thirsty for like a a new one. You know what I've never played that I want to learn how to play is the pedal steel. Oh, because that thing is like with all the, with all the pedals and the way it changes. That to me would be like the ultimate cool. Yeah, cool yeah, thing. yeah, that'd be sick. I, I know a couple of masters. You know, Dean Parks being one of them, man. And, and the Dean Parks, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So that I, I saw a question fly up. Do you play any wind instruments? <laughs> no. Well, no, I mean, oh, where's my <laughs> Outside of the melodica. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's it. The melodica is the one. I, my friend gave me an alt, a, ba, a, a bamboo alt, a bamboo alto saxophone. <laughs> it's, it's just, I can't see it now, but it's it's like a little, it's like a bamboo flute with a right. with a saxophone reed on it. Right. And you should have heard the noise. <laughs> you should have heard the noise that came out of it when I tried to play it. <laughs> it was just awful. But, uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, I in general I I don't well I don't I don't I mean I play melodica I tend to sing my wind parts I think that's the and brass I tend to sing that stuff because 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 yeah but I, what one day I want to one day I want to learn. Okay, well look, let's just go right to the beast because you know, time alone with you. I mean, I could do a ninety-minute you know dissertation on that. Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't even even though I don't know where to begin. It's just you know, the time and the patience in layering the vocals and all those little nuances and all the little hiccups and all the little breaths and all the little, you know, and <clears throat> you're doing the backgrounds, of course, uh, Adiki, or I'm sorry, the the, uh, the transitional, uh, uh, <laughs> whatever you call that thing, you're, you're, you know, the half sharp thing. Cro cro yeah, cro cross terrain, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, the cut brain thing on the background. It's like, okay, really? Did you really have to do? And uh, <laughs> and so now you know it starts with this this uh, this motif that you said you, you had in your head circling around some time ago, and you you never found a place to put it. So you just yeah. throw it in that. <laughs> and, you and, know what? And, you know what? I, I I was gonna I was gonna play you something because. I found I I dug up the like the original idea that that right. came from. Oh, wait, hang on before I, you do. That, hang on because I spent all night working on it. <laughs> I I even used an app to. I'm not I'm not proud. I'm not I'm not. Uh, I I have nothing uh, uh, to gain here. But I I used an app to slow it down. Oh, brilliant! Which app did you use? It's called. Wait a minute. Wait. <clears throat> Is it the uh, is it the uh, amazing slow downer? I think it is. I think it oh, is. Oh yeah, that, that that that's a good one. It works really well, and you can scrub and hold the 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 uh, the, the the part of the of the waveform that that uh, you're playing. But anyway, you scrub, yeah. I think I think it's this. I have to do it really slow because I'm old. But let me see. That is close. That that's su super super close. So you had is you had about six out of s six out of eight. Six but out of I mean, eight. Every, yeah. So 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 first half you nailed, and it's so C, C major seven, and then A the E altered. Yeah, with and then A A minor eleven, and then d I I think I think this is a D major like like a D major nine. Yeah. Well, D major. yeah. Yeah. And then and then you got D flat major seven of breath. Oh, okay. Well, all right, all right. Yeah. So, so almost exactly what you had, and then yeah. this to me is like a. What? What is that? What was that? <laughs> In fact, maybe it's no E flat. This. It, it's kind of. It's just like a double diminished. It's like. Oh, okay. So yeah. That... Yeah. Basically that, and then, and then. It's kind. It's kind of F minor eleven. But it's also kind of. It's, it's like. The essential part of the structure is this. A, a, a flat major nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could put an E. I, I tend to think an F is nice there, because then it goes E, e like E, e diminished. You, you played like, which is actually, ju it's even juicier. I like your one better actually. It kind of, it kind of uh, seemed, it kind of sounded like it landed on a thing with a B in the in the root, you know, and that kind of voicing. That's what it. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I think of it as more of a, yeah. I mean, obviously it's kind of simplified, but yeah, so it's like. And then, <laughs> if, if I, you know what that last, <laughs> what that last chord really is, is it's like E diminished, but it has a G sharp in it. So it's more like an E seven chord with no seven. It's like a. The, Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So obviously there was a D in it. You could say it's like a sharp eleven, but there's no D, so it's just yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and so so here you go. This is what I dug up, and I, okay. hopefully this is the right thing. But I was making this idea. One second. <laughs> Right. Oh, maybe this is the wrong one. But... Oh no, it's the wrong idea. It's the wrong idea. Sorry. Oh, Wait, that... But there you go. Uh, it's uh, some... oh, what would it have been? Ah, uh, something. Something. It was like it might be in the same day I wrote that idea. Mm -hmm. Where would I find this? But it was like part of a. Um, touch it, touch it, touch. So if it's in here. 
Oh yeah, that's the next step. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. I'm just, I'm just quickly having a look in case it's. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is uh, this is the last place I'm going to look, and then you can, we can crack on. But I just thought it'd be fun to show you this because it's like. Um, yeah, I thought it was this. That's what I thought. Oh, like, that's what I thought. I thought, I thought it was this. But that's. Too oh, simple. I see. Well, yeah, it's, it's kind of similar because you you still got the D flat, the B flat, and the G. Yeah. But it's it's like an E instead of an E flat in the bass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, where's this? Where is this B? Okay, here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's it. No worries. But 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 basically, yeah, I made this idea that had like, and then it was, and I took the little demo idea I did that and stuck it in the session, and then I put some Celeste over it and some like, yeah. whirly stuff, and then I put it into a into a compression bus and put this plugin on it called RC20, which okay. adds like tape crackle and hiss. Okay. And I also sang over right. it as well. And then I bounced that down to one track and it was just like, there's a song here. <laughs> and then I was then, 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 I, then I was gone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you go, oh. I'm like, oh. really? <laughs> I love I love all of those like asides, you know. I, that, that for me, that, that some of that stuff is like the most fun. It really is, and 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 and, and then you know the whole uh, terrain crossing thing, and then the and then and then what do you what do you do to get those really high? You probably sing them live anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, so fuck? so so yeah. So there's a thing you can do in Logic. In fact, I'll show you. Um, there's a thing you can do in Logic where you, it's called very speed. Have you checked it out? No, because I suck at Logic. So this is one more reason why I need to learn it. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm going to show you right now what, what this thing can do. Okay. This, is, this is Logic. Yeah. And here's, yeah. here's something I was working on just earlier. And then, oh. so, so at the top, there's a thing called very speed and you can toggle it on and off. So right now it's going down five semitones. Okay. Um, and so say, say I record something right here um, and I go, Oh, oh no, we're gonna get feedback, aren't we? Say I go, the most beautiful girl in the whole wide world, and she's mine. Right? Uh -huh. And then we listen to that, so that. The most beautiful girl in the whole So that sounds fine. If I put very speed on, right. we'll play it down here. The most beautiful girl in the whole And obviously, if I then go up, say four, the most beautiful girl in the whole world. And, and so, uh, in a lot of the songs on Jesse Volume 3, actually, I employed this technique. So I would basically slow the entire song down by about three or four semitones, mm -hmm. and then I would sing, Woo! and speed it back up, and be like, Woo! You know. oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, it's, so it's, it it's, it's kind of, thanks, man. It, it's, it's, so, so that's all me, and I, I did all the kind of like crazy stuff. But then I also <laughs> called up, I'm sure you've, I'm sure you've met her, if you haven't, you guys need to hang out. But Jojo, who's an oh, insane singer. Yeah, I she's just like one of the greatest in terms of runs and clouds. Oh, she's just a beast. Yeah. So, because I had this song and it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm into the groove. And like, I did this ridiculous stuff. And I thought like, you know what would be cool is if, is if it's like a hybrid between like the very speed Jacob and actually a real person who can actually do it. So she yeah. then sent me tracks of her singing in real time, which is <laughs> obscene to listen to. Just like, <laughs> and all this crazy stuff. And then, and then I, I laid it together. So it's like yeah. the, the bulk of the sound is like my very speed vocals. And then you've got this like angelic kind of Jojo thing, which makes it sound like, because without her, I, it's like a bunch of chipmunks. But with right. her, it's like this interesting combination. Yeah. No, Jojo is a killer. And I, I had the pleasure of uh, doing a couple of things with her. Uh, you know, oh, beautiful. I thought you might have done. A couple of, couple of shows, you know. Uh, and she's phenomenal, man. It's, it's lovely. Level. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, I look, man. I, uh, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. I could go on, but this has been massive fun. Oh, you know what we said when we Facetime last time? Because oh yeah, because the the best thing I know how to play is my is my arrangement of Happy Birthday, and and I don't I don't really 
uh, share it with too many other people. I mean, I've showed, I've showed Corey, I've showed it to Corey, um, but I, I, it's not something I showed it to many people, but I'd be happy to share it with you because you asked. I you, did, I did. You said you wanted to know how it goes. And it's oh, like, let's well, have it, let's have it. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, but this is, you know, uh, this is uh, simple arithmetic compared to the, the, the insanity of, of JC, but Here's the thing. So, you know, whatever intro you want to do, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever. And, uh, and then, so it, st it starts, it starts on the half step before, oh, half step. How about that? It's, we're doing a half step. It starts in a half step before, so. E, you know, e, E7, yeah. yeah but, and then you got an F. And then you go. And then. Right? And then. And then. And then. And then, and then yeah, then I kind of do it like a turnaround, like. Fair enough. Right, so it's like, it's like, uh, well, uh, wait, is that, well, wait, after, after this, and, okay, yeah, yeah right, but, yeah, it's off the B flat, so I go, yeah. and then, so you land on the D minor, and then, you know, two five, yeah, and then, and then Is that, is that, with, is that has it got B flat in the root? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a D a D seventh or a D ninth a D seventh over B flat. So yeah, oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah, and then you got the the major seventh. Yeah, resolve the F sharp down to the F. And then our old fave. And then E flat major seventh. I you know. And then, and E. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> and, and then. Is it A in the root there? Yeah. Right, and then uh, uh, D of uh, seven flat, uh, D, uh, D um, raise nine, you know. Oh no. Okay, right. There you are. And then got got you. And then D flat uh, major. Uh, nine. And this. What's the root of that chord? I can't hear it. Oh, okay. Is that a seven or F? Yeah. So they said seven. So. Uh, 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 uh. You know, and then this B flat minor, and then you turn it around. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, the 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 movement here is A flat, A flat major, and then uh, D. Yeah. And then uh, got it. Major. And then a G seven. G seven. Yeah. And then uh, another F sharp major with ninth. Thought you might do that. And then. Okay, so so uh, in the ending, it's just F, and you go through all these crazy chords. What was the first one? Was the first yeah, so one was A flat, a flat major. Well, when it, when it lands on the F, it starts with a B flat minor. So, B. so after this, and then B flat. Oh, that's right. Oh, 
have shop. <laughs> so, so it goes. Oh yeah. man, it's it's inspired. It's completely yeah. inspired. So okay, so so let's quickly review. Yeah. So uh oh, that's right, yeah. So and then you did Right. And then yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. A two by Yeah. That's my, that's my favorite chord of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. I just think it's so beautiful. Yeah. And then resolve the F drop down to F. That's right. Oh, <laughs> killing. And then. Yeah. Right, so. And then. Oh. And then. Right. And then. There you go, yeah. I love it. I, I, it makes first of all thank you for sharing that because my mind is blown second of all i want to add an f sharp on, the, on that last chord at the top okay go so it's like you go da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, like a D major, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's so juicy, man. It's so, when, did you, when did you craft that? Because I feel like that's like, that's one of your golden cards. But like, is that something that you continuously change? Or is it just something that you've always kind of hung out with? Oh, this was over the course of the last easily 20. I love It's brilliant. It's so good. Thank it's you. so damn good, man. And I play that for them, and then I hang up, and then they go, "Well, I can't play," you know. So, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, such, it's such a cool thing to. I, I need to work on mine. I need to work on my my happy birthday harmonization. But you did already with that insane vocal post I just saw the other night. I think. Uh, yeah, I, I did do this microtonal thing. That wasn't strictly happy birthday the tune though. That was more just like happy birthday to you. Just going up in there, <laughs> which is just so silly. But yeah. Right, you, you've you've inspired me. You can expect a uh, you can expect a video submission. Okay, okay, done deal. That. Killer, killer. Uh, Jacob, I, I this has been absolutely riveting, inspirational, a, a total blast. Epic hang with you. Epic hang indeed. Epic uh, hang. You, you crazy elf, you. Uh, love you badly, and uh, I you know we'll do it again. Please, Maybe. please. This is like my favorite, this is my favorite kind of conversation of all time. And you're, you're yes. so the man. Thank you for your, your wondrous, considered and hilarious questions. And let's, let's hang soon. Let's hang soon in the real world, why don't we? Absolutely. We can. Can't wait until we can do that and I can give you a, a real hug. There commercial. you go. But I, I will leave you with this. Uh, you know, you got all this Grammy stuff going on and uh, it's intense and it's going to be a wild ride. So all I would ask, and I don't think you're going to have a problem with this, but I would just give you a little bit of advice, and that is to remain humble because uh, you're going to be hearing how great you are a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you are great. And you know what? Whether you get the grand prize or not, it's, it's a long, adventurous journey, and uh, you're traversing it beautifully, and you're a lovely human being, a lovely man. And uh, as our, our dear big brother Quincy always says that, you know, uh, as uh, uh, he was reminded, uh, you are never 
more of a musician than you are a human being. Yes, sir. I couldn't believe. I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't agree with it more. I really couldn't. Yeah. And thank you. For, thank you for saying that. And it is. It is a wild ride. It's crazy how much so it changes not- fast, and there's a lot of pressure and stuff. But, but you know, it's super exciting. And I. I think I just heard today that. I think they'll be happening in LA. So that means I get to go on a plane, which is way more exciting. I was psyched up to sit on Zoom and my name yeah. was read out and that would have been not good. So, okay, yeah. so I, I think I'll be, I'll be coming over at some point quite soon, which is super exciting. And, and thank, you, thank you for your words of wisdom and, and for your epic friendship. And, and it, it means the world to me. And I, I hope we can just geek out sometime in real life real soon. I would absolutely love that. And so since you're coming here, uh, let's, let's uh, hook up. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's Done do deal, that. sir. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. All right, babe. Listen, My, much, thank you, Greg. Love you too, man. And we'll stay in touch. Done deal. Lots of love, dude. See you soon. Ciao, ciao. Yeah.